Okay, here we are at the Banff Springs Hotel. We walk in our room and there's like a little foyer. Coat closet, that's the door to our room. There's mom and dad's room, then you join the door. You walk in our room and what do you see? <laughs> a choo-choo gang going on. <laughs> Uncle Bill wishes he was here. And it's set up on the ironing board. <laughs> Two ironing, ironing boards. boards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're desperados. <laughs> Success is That's right. Okay. Rooster. Been around for a long, long time on their buses. I if that was Brewster too. Yeah, it was. 1910. Man, that's crazy. Oh, the Canadian Pacific, no wonder. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. Hey, Capita's tea set. Silverware. Okay to have me, you know, talk to you always sit down for one horse town type thing that's not even a horse, so. <laughs> McDonald's over here. <laughs> Little 11 is 28. One of the uh, Pacific Rail presidents comes through and deems it the crown jewel of the Canadian Pacific hotels. Because again, as that box brings them at the time, they're just basically old. Yeah. Yeah. My mom and I went, this was where we were, and there's a patio back there. Come back there, you can see the golf course, a lake, or a river, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Waterfall. Mm -hmm. Water. Uh, oh, I didn't see the waterfall. That's why I said it. Still to this day. Oh. Right. So this uh, little gazebo where the uh, chefs are working there, that's the newest part of the hotel. You can see how nice and silvery gray the stone is there. That was the idea that they had. Oh, look at this beautiful silvery gray mountain. We'll make the hotel nice and silvery gray. It'll fit right in. Clearly it didn't hold up that well. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a nice brown tint to it now. Though. Absolutely. I'm curious pointing to the Probably the only floors that have party hard in the staff. One of the original halls, however, was rebuilt and redone in 1920. Uh, and then, yes, yeah, some of the original uh, Scottish memory around here is all stronger than fresh. Uh, keep the Scottish theme of the castle. Uh, yeah, this, this, this hall is totally Yeah, tons of weddings happen here a lot. Uh, lots of Motorcycle nice, group. <laughs> uh, it's called the Smoky If you go into any of the uh, Canadian parliamentary buildings or some of the uh, the Fairmonts or the CP hotels that were bought up by Fairmont, um, 
we'll also include this thing or so I'm gonna hand it. <laughs> yeah. We continue on once we tip this top there. <laughs> so again, six going to the staircase over hundred and dollars. Just four hundred and fifty million four hundred and fifty million years old, the stone with the fossils. So Yeah. Pretty heavy. Oh, wow. Three and a half billion for one door. Yeah. Ah, it's one ton, baby. You can move it. Uh, and yeah, here we are in the Alhambra dining room. So one of the original dining rooms of the hotel. One people used to actually sit down and eat together. We're not just getting McDonald's on the floor. Um, quite the place again. Different architecture from the rest of the building. Different style. Uh, we're going to end up going to the Cascade Ballroom. Very different from here. There's a few things to note are kind of like the roof, the lighting, uh, the windows, and the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of do, but I don't. <laughs> um, I don't want to do that. This painting here, it's quite the painting. It's of northern Ontario, you know, from southern Ontario, so it's whatever. <laughs> uh, beautiful painting. People ask why is there a painting of northern Ontario hanging in a place that's all surrounded by western Rockies? Well, the man who painted this uh, picture signed his name Enron Nav. He was a little upset that his hotel was being built backwards. He painted a picture of Northern Ontario as he was coming through Montreal uh, on his way back and signed his name Enron Nav backwards fan A couple little elbow jabs to the people who built the hotel. And like, I'm not sure what that is. I hear something like texting and emailing. But when people did come out here again, they would be. No oh, shoots. They all make it. It gets cleared out every day, so if you do have anything, just throw it in there. It'll make it. Uh, right next to, of course, the elevators, which have been here since 1924. And again, that big tower went up in 1914. 1918 it was a grand reopener. 1919. Uh, Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, this will fold out, babe. Somebody asked me if this was the original one, and that 
prepared for it. Uh, well, yeah, so one of the original uh, fireplaces and the original heat source. And they made the wheelbarrow. But the craftsmen weren't here. You guys made it to have Yeah, they would have had it. New expenses. Dinner is. Okay, awesome. That makes sense. So, Cascade Ballroom. Again, this is the main ballroom of the original hotel. Um, when it did turn down, it was rebuilt to look the exact same as it did. Um, so, only, only a couple of years in between, they just made it to look exactly the same as it was in the beginning. What if it was an entire um, sky view, I guess, what you want to call it? No, it doesn't. Still kind of the same vibe with the glass. But it's almost 360 degree views of all the mountains. You can see the river there. Um, and people still get set up and come here. Beautiful place. Beautiful place. Do no, they get the tea? Uh, they, when they do the high tea, it's actually a volcano. They still do <laughs> See the river. Lots of history. People ask what the price of it is now. Probably around the world. A lot of areas are priceless. And yeah, it's quite the place, quite the history. Yeah, I sold them some of these fixtures from Capita. Said them. Looks like identical to. You don't really appreciate it until you see it in fine places like this. Look at this. Look at the sponsors. They're identical to the Capita stuff. Yeah. A bunch of them in boxes. Be throwing nice music. Two seventy eight. Around the corner, we got adjacent rooms. Here we are.